Yeah. All right. This one is from the 2003 AP Mike uh, Macro Free Response Question Form B. Um, I have two countries. I have Ashana, I guess, or Ashma. Okay. I don't know. Ashma. I got Luna. Okay. And they produce food or machines. All right. It doesn't really matter the names, right? All right. So I have in country A, they can do 30F, 30 food, or 10 machines. In Luna, they can do 40 food or 40 machines. All right. Solve for one. I get one F equals one third of an N. One N equals three F. This one's hard, right? <laughs> Once again, it's kind of redundant, but I'm not going to make a mistake if I have everything written out. Or less likely to make a mistake. One third or one? Three or one? Raymond, what's up? That if it's an input problem, all there is is that extra step of turning the inputs into outputs. But once you do that, you're going to be in this. You're going to be at this step. Okay. So the terms of trade come from if it's an input problem, you solve for output, turn it into per unit opportunity cost, find the comparative advantage, and then you're still going to look at the incentive to trade, whether it's there or not. All right. So I got the comparative advantage for A is in F, is in food, right? All right, so I'm looking down here again, not up here, okay? I'm going to produce food and trade for M. Well, what's a good deal for me? If I was to produce by myself, I'd have to give up 3F for M. So in trade, to make it worth my while, create an incentive, what's the most amount of food I'm going to trade away in order to get an M from the other country? Okay, so 2F. Now remember, when you're doing it, the terms of trade that I'm solving for is going to be in the one that you have a comparative, comparative advantage in. This is, I'm producing food, I'd be willing to trade away two food for one M. Because trading away two food for one M is better than doing it myself and having to trade away three food. Cool? Mm -hmm. See the cap? Alright. Alright. You see the cap? Now this one's a little bit different type of thinking, but it's still the same. Alright? I'm going to produce M. And trade for food. All right, most of you are going to think, what? I'd only be willing to give up how much M to get one food. Uh, right? No, no, no. But that's, <laughs> it, you think that way, but that's not what we're going for here. All right? Trade for one. Well, I would trade for one. You know why? Because if I produce um, M myself, okay? If I produce M and F myself, I'm going to produce one M, give it up, and only get one F. But my other country is already really willing to give me how much food for one M? Okay, isn't that better? Don't I gain from that? So your answer is 2F for one M. Alright, once again, I got no easy trick. You just got to work it out with the logic. 